I mean, this is simply unacceptable. We are now rated effectively 49th out of 50 states. Um, you know, the new NAEP scores that came out, eighth grade reading, only one state worse than us, Mississippi. Yeah. And this is not getting better, it's getting worse. And, you know, everywhere I go, every um, town hall I do, education, education, education. Um, and so, and the legislatures are, are, I think, are starting to hear this. And you know the approval rating for the state legislature right now is 9%. As John McCain used to say when I traveled with him, we're down to blood relatives and paid staffers. It's, it's, it's lower here. Is it? Yeah. So, um, so I think you've got to have the legislature working um, on this problem. But you're right. The CTA, um, you know, will, it needs to, we need to negotiate with the CTA. And here's the approach. I am really a big believer in what I call the 80-20. What is 20% of the reforms that will get you 80% of the way home? Because if you there's 15 or 20 education reforms that probably have merit. Um, so what are the, of the two or three that we can negotiate hard on, that we can bring parents into the, in, to bear on, that we can be advocates for the children on? And that, by the way, the teachers will support as opposed <coughs> to the union uh, management, the union leadership. So as I thought about my education program, and I've, I've uh, written it down in, in this policy book, is I think there's four things we've got to do. And first is we have to get more money into the classroom. Of the $70 billion that we spend in public education in California from state, federal, and local sources, only 60% goes to the classroom. So 40% goes to administration and overhead. I mean, can you imagine running your business with 40% of your costs in administration and overhead? You would be out of business. So let's get money into the classroom. You know who supports that? The teachers. Um, and it, with that, you would streamline some of the bureaucracy. I mean, you talk to teachers, the paperwork, the bureaucracy that is on them every single day. Almost every town hall, I have a third grade teacher or an eighth grade teacher come up to me and, and say, you're so right about this, the bureaucracy is killing us. And principals the same way. Then I want to put more um, accountability down at the local school districts. Um, because we can't run this centrally out of Sacramento anymore. We've got to um, allocate the money on a per child or per classroom basis and hold the school districts accountable for educating the children but giving them some degrees of freedom about how they spend the money. Well, that categorical, categorical spending. It's a disaster. It is a disaster. People have tried to move against that, though, and change it. It's been 